Hi everyone, it is Halloween Breaking, and we are back with the Emblem Knights. We're on chapter 10, which means we're 10 chapters in, so whew, we're getting pretty far. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably just jump in and get started. So, chapter 10, Shaky Hand. Ray hadn't returned the next morning. I'm worried, Yuri said, wringing her hands. Don't worry about it, Roy said as he sat on the porch. He does this when he's under a lot of emotional stress. What stress is he under, Yuri shouted. Does Jack ring any bells in that pretty little head? Or have you already forgotten that the two of them are still best friends, even after Jack went on that rampage, rampage four years ago? I was just seeing if I could hold my breath for that long. My God. Run on sentences are my forte, really, honestly. Ray told her, sitting up. Yuri covered her mouth. In the one day that she had been training, training with the guys, she completely forgot. Right, now he's fighting with himself, trying to figure out how to save the sorry soul, while on the other hand, he's trying to protect you, so forgive him for wanting some alone time for himself. We'll just have to start our training without him today. You're right, Daisuke said. Let's go. The grind group began jogging only half-heartedly that morning. The fact the leader wasn't doing his best dragged on the hearts of the group, which made their bodies feel heavier than normal. You're all late for breakfast, Ray said as the group approached the house. Is Joey incapable of running by himself? Yuri walked past him with her little brother on her back without a word. I asked you a question, Ray said, grabbing her shoulder so she couldn't pass. Listen. She said calmly, but obviously it took her a lot of work to keep her voice even. You're going to take care of us. You said you were going to do. You should be there when you're needed. But if you're going to run away because your life is too tough for you, then just send us off to the senior advisor. You're the leader. I understand that you are having some difficulties. But when you have others depending on you, you can't just run out on us. Here he jerked his shoulder from his grip and walked into the house. Thanks to you, my brother broke his ankle. Lucky for us, John is an excellent healer, she yelled as she put her brother in his room. Well, he didn't tell me that. She was wise beyond her years, Ray, a man said from the table in the kitchen. Everyone had overlooked him. Murphy, John shouted, walking over to the man with a big smile on his face. This is a nice surprise, Roy said. When did you get here? He asked, following John over to his old friend. Do you need any help with him? Dicey asked Yuri. No, Yuri said, shaking her head. You go join your friends, please, I insist. She looked at Ray. As you so wisely put, it's okay to be weak in front of those who care about you. They'll be there for you when you really need them. So much for that. She walked away from the room of celebrants and brought her brother into his room. Gary, where are we? Joey asked, rubbing the sleep from his eyes. Gary squatted next to his bed. We're back at the house. Why did I fall asleep? He asked, looking around the room. The pain from your ankle is too much for you, so John put you to sleep before he healed it. Gary said, what's wrong? Joey asked, knowing something was weighing heavy on her heart. Listen, I don't know if I can stay anymore, Yuri said. She stared at the ground, unable to look at her little brother. I mean, we broke the rules that the senior advisor told us to follow, and one of us has to go. I choose to give you a chance to succeed here. What are you talking about? We were always going to be there for each other. You promised, Joey said. He sat up in his bed. But life might just take us apart. That's all there is to it, Yuri said. You shouldn't give up so easily, Murphy said by the door, his hair a short olive green. Ray will figure out a way about around this, Ray, Yuri snorted. I don't want to depend on that man anymore. He actually made me believe his stupid stories. She shook her head. What do you want? I just thought you needed some reassurance, Murphy said. Besides, Ray is only human. And not to mention, we're still missing someone. Yeah, there were six of you, but where is he? Yuri asked. He's somewhere in the town of Sorrows. He's not exactly one to come back because he's told to come. If you can find him, then you and your brother might have a chance, Murphy said. But in order for that to happen, one of us has to go find him, and we're kind of tied down at the moment, so who can they go? Fine. If it'll help Ray, I'll go find this. What's his name? Yuri asked, looking at Murphy. His name is Alex. He has blonde hair and green eyes. Oh, and when you find him, he'll probably be drunk. Murphy thought for a moment, and to be careful, even though he might be drunk, he still has a great fighting ability. Any other surprises? Yuri asked as she crossed the hallway to get her father's sword. None that I can think of. You'll just have to wait till you meet him. Murphy followed her across the hall. Oh, and don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Well, 
they have to keep Joey training. So just make sure Ray doesn't run off again and we'll be in the clear. Yuri jumped out the window. I'll be back with Alex. Oh, and if I don't make it back alive, give this to Joey. She took a necklace off of her neck. It had a blue and pink cross on it. They are mine and my sister's crosses. Make sure he takes them. She then ran off in the into the darkness. So, I get the feeling Alex will be coming to join us any day now, Murphy said to the boys. as he put the necklace into his pocket. What makes you say that? Roy asked as Ray sat down in the sitting area. Dice case sat next to him. John sighed. Cheer up, you two. So we slipped up. So what? We'll figure out a way to keep both of the kids, he assured them. I just have a, a hunch, that's all, Murphy said to Roy. Joey walked out of his room and looked at Murphy, who nodded towards the door. Ray? Joey walked over to the man who looked down. Are you going to let them take Yuri? Of course not. I'll do my best to keep her with us. Ray said, more so to reassure himself, more so than anyone. Papa, I'll make sure you two are together for as long as I can. Joey looked at the ground. You've already failed. Yuri's gone. Murphy looked at the little boy in shock. You're quite the blunt one, young one, he said. Joey smiled deviously at Murphy. Eh, I learned from the best. We have to go look for her, Daisuke said. He stood and headed for the door. Not so fast, small fry. The senior advisor was standing in his way. If any of you so much as tries to go after that girl, I'll be sure that Joey comes with me. What have you done with her, Ray demanded, advancing on the old man. You so much as leave, in, leave a scratch. Oh, leave one scratch on her. I'll make sure you're grandchildren feel your pain. Now, now, I can assure you that if anyone lays a hand on her, it won't be me. If she survives this trial, she'll be free to train on her own or take care of Jack on her own. If not, then it's your loss. The senior advisor advi disappeared. You should learn to control your temper or I might have to be forced to calm you down once again. What are we going to do? John asked. He looked at the door. We're going to eat breakfast and get started on our training with weapons. We have to believe that Yuri can survive on her own, Ray said as calmly as he could. The group sat down to eat and didn't say a word to one another. The old man watched them intently as he cleaned the dishes. Just one more left and the group would finally be complete. Whew, that's the end of chapter 10. We're on to chapter 11. Yay. Uh, but yeah, um... Uh, as always, I leave in the description below a place where you can buy this book if you would like. Obviously, this is the rough draft, so the final draft is a lot better, I assure you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, hopefully I will see you guys next time. Bye!